boys and girls. My name is Miss Davis and I'm the librarian at Kingsbury and I am so excited about school starting back. But my favorite part of the day is when the kindergartners come. And this is my friend Smolder and it's his favorite part of the day too. So we said since you can't come to us, we're coming to you. And we're going to read you one of our favorite books, one of Smolder's favorite books. In fact, he picked this one out just for you. We're going to read one of our favorite authors, David Shannon, and the book is called David Gets in Trouble. Let's see what happens. David Gets in Trouble. When David gets in trouble, he always says, no, it's not fair. Do you ever say that? You say that and Smolder, good job. Smolder. I didn't mean to. No, he's riding a skateboard in the house. Smolder, should we ride our skateboard in the house? No, good job, Smolder. It was an accident. Uh-oh, he knocked a baseball through the window. I bet his mommy was mad. What do you think, Smolder? Yeah. Do I have to? He doesn't want to eat his breakfast. Like eggs? Do you like eggs, Smolder? No, okay. I forgot. He forgot his pants. Oh no, you can't go to school with no pants. Look, Smolder, oh, isn't that silly? My dog ate my homework. Have you ever used that excuse? There's the dog though, so it might be true. I couldn't help it. Oh, he messed up the class picture making a silly face. Let's all make a silly face. Ah! <laughs> I was hungry. He's eating dog food. That is crazy. But she likes it. Do you think the kitty likes it? No. Smolder, do you think that kitty likes that? Look at her. Her claws are out, out in her mouth. It slipped. Oh no. He spilled his juice all over the carpet. Do you think mommy's going to be upset, Smolder? Yeah. But dad says it. He must have said a bad word. We shouldn't say bad words, should we? No. And there he just burped. Isn't that terrible? But he said, excuse me, but he should have covered his mouth. Mm, yes. No, it wasn't me. Smolder, do you think it's him? Yeah, look, he's got chocolate all over his face and a big piece of the cake is missing. Yes, it was me. He's telling the truth. Should we always tell the truth, Smolder? Yes. I'm sorry. Do you think that made his mommy happy when he said, I'm sorry? Yes, and he looks like he really meant it. He said, I'm sorry, and look at his face, so you know he really meant it. I love you, Mom. Isn't that a sweet story? Yes, I love you, Smolder. Boys and girls, I don't know if you know this, but David Shannon, the author of this book, it's about him. He found his drawings from when he was a little boy, and he wrote this book about all the trouble he got in. Smolder, do you ever get in trouble? No? Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, you can be an author when you grow up. If you start now collecting stories and um, practice your writing, you could have a book in our library one day, and we would just love to read it. We will see you next week. We love each one of you. Take care. Bye-bye.